Yeah, about three fourths of the way through a bag of Lifesavers gummies, that flavor starts to like override your whole entire taste palette. And, and it all see, tastes the same, yeah. And then it all starts tasting the same. And then really the only ones that you can really taste are the red ones, to me at least. It, yeah. It's the same with Jolly Ranchers. You have more than one Jolly Rancher and you can't really taste what's going on. If I start eating a lot of Jolly Ranchers, I'll start to fall asleep. Like more than like <laughs> two, two Jolly Ranchers, I start getting like... Almost like a sugar coma, and I'd start passing out. Crazy! It's like too much sugar. It's weird. I don't. I don't, I don't like eating hard candy anymore at work and stuff. I'll just start crashing, dog. It's the strangest thing. It's weird. Yeah. It just hit you faster. Yeah. It's like all the energy in your body is going to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is this good spacing here? It sounds primo spacing Sweet. is what it is, you know. Like Joe Rogan says, it should be a fist from your about a fist length from your <laughs> face. Cool. Yeah. Joe Rogan knows. He's been in the game sixteen years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think it's like probably sixteen or fourteen. That's years, crazy, like, man. Yeah, I can't believe that, man. It's wild. <sighs> There you go. How about go how much water do you drink per day, David, do you think? Uh, this is a two-liter bottle, and I usually drink one and a half or so of these. It's most most of the time, I'll, I'll drink a whole one, but sometimes I get one and a half down. Yeah, I used to drink a lot of water, and then I started drinking some energy drinks. Now I don't drink nearly as much water. I should get back on that <laughs> yeah. water water kick, dude. Water's really good. Where did my water go? I had a water bottle. It's right there. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, uh, welcome to Crashing with Friends podcast. Cash, I am the Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> My name's Kyle. This is episode 143. 143, yeah. <laughs> uh, this week we got Jack, 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 it's hard, to, it's hard to repeat the J's, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Jackson's practiced, yeah. I think. Yeah. <laughs> we got Connor Hobbs. That's me. <laughs> and the Erd Freak himself. <laughs> oh. David Lindsay. No blow. David Lindsay. Erd Freak. <laughs> no. Yeah. What's up? Hey. Man. Um, Connor. Start with you. How's your little mini vacay been? Uh, so far, so good. So, uh, yeah, like, rewind like a month or so ago, I had, I re like, requested these, like, three days off from work because we've got, like, two days off going into a weekend, and it was denied. And then I get to work Monday, and they're like, hey, do you want these two days off leading in? So I'm like, all right, we'll take those off. Got, like, a six-day little mini vacation going on. Nice. Happy uh, Fourth of July, by the way. Yeah. 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 And, uh, yeah, just took that off. Um, yesterday I went and got a haircut, went home, saw that I had the uh, notification for a plate renewal tags, you know? Mm. So I did that online. Shout out to Modogov. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you guys can't go with no DMV this year, man. Yeah. It's not pretty good. I think I did this last time as well. So it feels, it feels really good. Um, and then, yeah, today I watched both Beavis and Butthead movies. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Felt Worth good it. about that. Yeah. I was thinking about one part of the first one earlier. It's like, attention, attention. We are looking for the chick with the big boobs. <laughs> <laughs> we are ready to do you now. <laughs> and then yeah. the whole house of rep representatives just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it, they're both great, man. Um, but yeah, aside from that, playing uh, Elden Ring like David over here, but I started a new file. I'm like level 50, about 20 hours in, beat the first two shard bearers. So that's going good. Um, still playing some of the other games, but really into the finals right now. Mm, yeah, I saw you guys playing that the other day on Steam. Dude, it's it's hitting really hard. Season three, man. Season three. It's such a fun game. It's dude. coming. <clears throat> it's here. Um, yeah, I think you should play with this they, one of these they days. They had dude. new maps. 
They had a new yeah. map. Kyoto. Nice. 1500s Kyoto. Sounds sick. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, I might, I might jump on there. Yeah, yeah it's a good time. Yeah. They got a five player mode now. Yeah. Oh, nice, dude. Yeah. I was going to say, with the, there's four people and there's only three player teams, you know. Yeah, yeah. the five player mode is pretty fun, too. There's two different <coughs> five player yeah. modes. So. I mainly like the Sweet. platform one. The platform one is the one I like. You haven't been on there since it, like, what, a couple months after launch? So, yeah. Probably a lot's changed. Yeah, it's good now. It was good then, but now there's like a good battle pass with like samurai flavored nice. gear and stuff. Very cool. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> um, just uh, watching other TV shows, nothing of note. Um, I wanted to play some disc golf, but it rained a little bit today. Um, did get caught in the rain while I was running a mile there at like 9 o'clock in the morning. That was pretty cool. Um, did get- you enjoy it? No, um, I was hoping I was gonna like kiss somebody, you know, but that didn't. Wow, happen. you see a, you see that rainbow this morning? Like I gotta kiss a guy underneath this rainbow. <laughs> yeah, that came to mind for sure. Um, I always no. hope that it'll rain when I'm running, but then it's like not so great for your feet. Like it feels good everywhere else, but you know. Yeah, like um, I was like most of the way done by the time it started, and then when I got to my house, it actually like full on started raining. So yeah. I lucked out pretty good on that. I just didn't want to get my shoes wet. You yeah, know? yeah. <clears throat> um, but yeah, it was it, it was fun. I'm still uh, doing that running stuff. Did you uh, while it was raining on? Did you pee your pants? <laughs> <laughs> just, run, just really run through it? No, I <laughs> no, no. I'm not one of those, man. <laughs> F1 drivers do it, and nobody yeah. would know. Sometimes you got to, man. I mean, if you got to go. Um, but yeah, um, I'm going to be dropping like a hundred bucks on the steam sale. There's like a lot of games that I want right now. Damn, Tony son. Hawk one and two HD is like 15 bucks. Um, there's like some other games that are on there that are cheap, but yeah, I'm, I'm really excited for that. And, uh, the weekend and all that. Mm. Yeah. And when this comes out, it'll be Monday. Yeah. So we'll be, be looking forward to the next weekend. Yeah. Every, <laughs> every weekend I'm ready for it. Yeah. <laughs> Dude heard though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll be I'll be playing video games throughout this uh, staycation, and if yeah, if there's good weather, probably go disc golf by myself at some point. Nice. Probably just play Landris. It's a good time. Yeah, I'm very jealous. <clears throat> Jackson, you got a, a good week going? Yeah, I got a pretty good week going. Uh, just been playing Elden Ring a lot. Uh, Quick update. Eight. Yeah. Yeah, this is going to be an Elden Ring podcast, let me yeah. tell you. Uh, beat Godric the Gaff, uh, Grafted. So I think last time I was talking about how I beat the the entrance guy to the castle. And mm-hmm. I was like, I beat the first boss. And you're like, yeah, beat shit. They ain't no boss. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the so. first shard bearer. That's yeah. the thing. Yeah. Dude, he, is, so. he is hard, though, man, that first boss. Yeah. Like, right now I'm over in uh, that one area that's uh, to the right of Limgrave. It's like all, you know. Like a fiery wasteland and stuff. Got the death birds, whatever you call them. Ugh. Mm-hmm. And I'm trying to beat that boss over there, or I'm hoping it's the boss. It might just be the entrance guy. It's <laughs> it's two of them that you have to fight. Are they the entrance guys? I two, think so. Yeah, what? I think they're just two. Like they're high class enemies, but yeah, they're not the main guy. Yeah, one of them is like a lion type or looking dude, and another one is like an actual knight that's slower, but he doesn't come out till you get like. X amount of health taken off of them. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's fucking... I'm having a tough time with that one. Also, I haven't been able to figure out how to upgrade my wolves or any of my... Uh, you know what I'm mm. talking about. You gotta talk to Rodrika, that girl. Yeah, I keep running around like trying to talk to people, like... <laughs> but... I don't know. I'm watching the video right now. It's like, because after I beat Godric the Grafted, I was like, okay, I want to watch a video on like everything to do in Limgrave before I moved on. There was so much stuff that Dude, I panned over. So much. Yeah. So much stuff. <coughs> yeah. So. Easiest way to be just look up a video on where the girl's at and it'll tell you. Yeah. Yeah. I just, I'm waiting right now for the video that I'm watching to get to that point. You know? I'm like, yeah. okay, it's going to get to that point eventually. 
If you try to do everything, man, you're going to be playing like 150 hours before yeah. you beat the game. It's crazy. <laughs> you got a problem with that? Yeah. Yeah. One, th- one of the things I love about Elden Ring is it's like the perfect game to play while watching a TV show yeah. or a movie or something like that. Mm-hmm. So like yeah. Master Chef Generations. Dude, I just started that yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> I told myself I wasn't going to watch it like a month ago, and then I'm like, I got nothing going on. I guess I'll watch Master Chef Generations. <laughs> so, yeah. It might be manufactured, but sometimes it still makes me feel good sometimes. Sometimes, so. yeah. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. Uh, yeah, I've been watching it as well. Yeah. Yeah. Got a dark horse? Not yet. I've really only seen them cook like one or two meals as a big group. So I don't really want to make my choices. Yeah. I have only watched the first episode, so I am I am even seeing all the auditions. Okay. Is this like a... What what is what is what is this? Ma- I think it's like Master season Chef? fourteen. Is it is it just Master Chef? It's just a new season. Yeah. Oh, okay. For the most part, part. you said generations. So yeah. I don't know if it was it's like a whole new show. It's like Generation yeah. X versus the Baby Boomers it's, versus. Yeah, there's the, four generations that are going head to head. Oh boy. Five chefs from each generation versus the millennials. Oh man. Yeah. And then the Gen X. They got my vote. <laughs> <laughs> so fucking stupid. <laughs> Are they living moss? <laughs> oh, God, I wish they would. <sighs> I just wish they would have like would have brought somebody on there that like would it's like they're gonna be for sure like this is just bland. You gotta get like one of them old people from like England. It's just broiled up chicken, <laughs> like almost no seasoning on it, and it's like eh, some collard green, like some green beans or something like that to go with it. Oh, there's right. definitely people that are like that. They're, they call them out and they're like, this has like no seasoning on it. I'll have to watch some more of them auditions then. Yeah. You remember, you remember that old guy that like, he's like, Chef Ramsey, today I made you potato pancakes. And he's like, that's just hash browns. And he's like, no, it's potato pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he left. He left that day. <laughs> um, other than Elden Ring, uh, yeah, that's basically it, man. I've just been playing Elden Ring for the most part. Uh, still need to get... Like, I got halfway through that one episode of The Boys I was telling you about. Like, are you guys caught up on The Boys? Yeah, I'm no. not, unfortunately. Yeah. Okay. But you can... I mean, I don't care. You and can talk the about Acolyte. It. You can talk about The Boys. Yeah. I'm caught up on Acolyte. But, uh... Yeah. Uh, trying to think. Last thing I watched, uh... Without giving anything away, because I don't want to ruin it for David, because I'm sure he's going to like it. But uh, it's uh, the scene with uh, uh, his dad in the hospital. Yeah, that's just crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Pretty gory. It's like, yeah. Gory. Yeah, don't ruin it. Oh, boy. Yeah. Gory hole. Yeah, I just I just recently started catching up on <laughs> I just recently started catching up on shows. I'm I'm pretty far behind on stuff, but House of the Dragon, season two. Yeah, we're caught up on that. Okay, and we're caught up on. Well, we, I missed this week's episode of The Acolyte, but we're caught up as of last week. Um, and I just started season three of The Bear, but continue. Jackson. I need to watch The Bear, man. Oh. I haven't started season three yet. Yeah, I'll talk about my stuff after after Jackson's done. I don't want to uh. take the boys' airtime. <laughs> you know he's fiending for that airtime. Yeah. <laughs> Less is more, David. <laughs> but uh man, other than that, just uh that's really it. I mean, not a whole lot going on. Jackson, I have a question for you, man. Who do yeah. you identify more with? Venom or Carnage? Venom or Carnage? <laughs> yeah. Would you say you're more Venom or Carnage? I'd say I'm more, I'd say I'm more Carnage, but definitely not uh, Woody Harrelson's Carnage. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely not Respect. Woody Harrelson's Carnage. Are you Spider-Man PS1 Carnage? <laughs> That's Venom? the Carnage I am. Yeah, carnage, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Respect. It's funny that you like you knew the exact one I was gonna pick, and he has like almost no character. Really. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is that the one where he gets on Doc Ock at the end, or was that Spider Man yeah. Two? Yeah, the one. yeah dude. dude, he go down like an oversized ventilation. Yeah, shaft. The, ch- the chase, the chase scene. Yeah, there's like cameos out the ass and that. And like, know, the Daredevil, 
Uh, you see J. Jonah Jameson, of course. Uh, Is Scorpion in that one? Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. And Rhino, uh-huh. right? Uh, Rhino. There's a Rhino fight. Ah, oh, man. Didn't you just replay this? Uh, I started it, but it just didn't feel good on the emulator. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. I don't think the game really ever did. Yeah. Really feel good. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, now you say that, you're 100% correct. But it was a Spider-Man game, dude. Yeah, it was. Yeah. At the time, yeah, so it was like... The I was, best we had. It was so good. Flame web. I played through that game so many times, man. Yep. Yeah. I'm like, all right, I'm going to get through it, and I'm not going to die once. <laughs> That's how it was the entire game. You showed them, man. I did it. I really did it. No achievements, nothing. It was just you, <laughs> you know? Another, Take this, brothers and sisters. Another PS1 game I played a shit ton was that uh, WWE game, Know Your Role, I think is what it was. <laughs> that didn't surprise me. Dude, yeah. I played so much of that. It was insane. <laughs> I played a lot of one of those games. I think it was uh, SmackDown versus Raw or something like that. Do you one of those, kind of? yeah. We had so many like created characters and stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, we did a lot of we did a lot of stuff on that. So much fun. It was an N64 game. We yeah. played the crap out of it, dude. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. Man, if it was for N64, that was before... Okay, I'm, nerd. I'm, not, I'm just... <laughs> I'm going to say, I think that was before even N64. What? Like, or you said it was Raw vs. SmackDown. I think it was SmackDown just one came of those out. wrestling games. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was just one of them, Jack. Okay. okay. All right. David, how is your week, bro? <laughs> It's uh, it's been good, you know, playing that Elden Ring DLC, which I'll touch more on later, on my Steam Deck that I got. Oh, word! Ooh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, you bought uh, it yet? Have you filled it up? Uh, so I've got um, Game Pass working on it, like this, the cloud version. Yeah, and uh, I haven't put any emulators on it just because I have been playing like a mostly modern stuff. Um, like I've been playing Mass Effect Two a lot. Yeah, it's um, it runs which, so good on the Steam Deck. Dude, like, I was always, like, a, a stand for the first game. Mm-hmm. I love the first game. Um, and then I remember, like, very vividly not really liking the second one all that much. Ooh, that's and, amazing. And people that's were like, that's the best one, man. And, uh, and I think the reason is why is because I rushed through it. I was just playing story, 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 story. So this time around, I'm, like, trying to do everything I can do. Like, all the assignments, all the quests, all the the stuff for each individual character. Dude, and it is so good, man. Like, it, it's one of the best games I've ever played. Yep. Like, yep. I'm, I think I'm, like, 30 hours into it, and I just love every inch of it, dude. Every um, conversation yeah. is great. It's one of those yeah. games where I will sit there and listen to every person have a conversation, you know. Yep. And mm-hmm. yep. Not skip through any of it. Um, it I'm really d- rewards your time for playing it. Yeah. I'm Keep doing the, the Miranda romance, actually, right now. Oh, that's the first one that I did. Yeah, you well, like, I... Bubble booty? So, I... Yeah, I, yeah, I think yeah, I did booty. Liara in the first game a long time ago, and then uh, when I was doing, like, going through the side, I remember seeing Ashley in the third one being like, well, she's super hot now. <laughs> so, I'm gonna romance her. So, then when you're going through, like, the whole comic strip thing in the Legendary Edition where it, like, asks you, like, what did you... What all did you do in the first game? I picked Ashley, and, uh... So I like went into the second game and then I ran into her and I'm like, uh, she looks just like she did in the first one. <laughs> and then she like gets on your ass about like being dead and not talking to her. And I'm like, screw you, dude. It's me and Miranda today. You know, <laughs> yeah, things change. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm like half robot now. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I have time for you. So it's really good. Um, Miranda's half robot too. Yeah. Compatible. Yeah. It works too. Compatible. It works. But yeah, other th- other than that, um, are you gonna play the third one? Just yeah, I'm just gonna go right into it. I think okay. first but. memory I have of Mass Effect is walking into Austin Garrett's house and you were playing it. Yeah, yeah, I and remember that one. too. Yeah, I remember, I remember thinking when you were playing it, this looks like shit. It's <laughs> like it just looked so chunky. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. It just looked so chunky. Yeah, but then when I played it, I was like, "Oh man, it's, it's all about the cover system and yeah. everything like that." You know, it's very tactical. Very tactical. Yeah. yeah, the thing I I don't really like all that much about the second game is that they like locked your weapon use to the class that you pick. Mm-hmm. So like, if I picked an, an infiltrator, I can use a sniper and a heavy pistol, but I can't use a machine gun or an SMG. Like, yeah. 
So that sucks, but there are a lot of good snipers, so mm-hmm. like I'm I'm enjoying that. Like I can insta kill almost every regular enemy, so it's not much to complain about, but <clears throat> yeah, super good. And then uh I played a little bit of Ori on it, that runs really well. Oh dude. Yeah. yeah. It's and it's perfect for Steam Deck, man. Like, it looks so good on yeah. Steam Deck. Um the second one is where it's at, man. The first one I don't really care for it, but that second one, yeah. fucking right, yeah. dude. Dude, and if you like, if you have a big Steam library, absolutely getting a Steam Deck is worth it, man. Because you Hell get yeah. it, and you're like, "What do I play?" Well, dude, you have your entire Steam library already. Like, so nice, it's awesome. And yeah. if you have also, if you have a big Epic library, it's so easy to get the Epic launcher on your Steam Deck. Is it, hey, dude? Oh my god. Yeah. See, I struggled with the EA bullshit. Like, yeah, the EA thing is. And I didn't do anything extra. I bought the Legendary Edition on Steam. And then I just started it over and over and over again until it worked. Over and over again. Like sometimes it would like say starting game and then just go back to the menu. And then I would oh, say no starting shit. game, go back to the menu. Yeah, but now it seems like it's working pretty pretty well. Like every time I get into it. So. Weird. I've never had any problem with yeah. it. David starts a weird. new game. Starts but, uh, it over and over and over again. <laughs> Finish <laughs> it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I've been watching House of the Dragon. And it's due this season so good, man. It really oh my is. Gosh. Um, I, this week's episode ended really well. I need to yeah. watch that. Yeah. Did you finish season one? Or? I finished season one, yes. Yeah. Dude, this, I, I thought it might not. I don't know, man. For some reason, I didn't have high expectations for season two. But it's it's there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then uh, we, we've watched two episodes of season three of The Bear. And, dude, it is... Just as good. Really? Good. Yeah. Okay. It's, that's... it's so good. It's star- like the first episode, man, is like so unique. I can't wait for you guys to watch really? it. Really? Okay. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of episodes in the first and second season where you're like, wow, that was a really cool episode yeah. of that show. Like it was different than every other episode yep. of the whole season. You that's know? exactly how the first episode is where you're just like, man, you just kind of sit in silence afterward. and Oh, it hits. Yeah, okay. It hits hard. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then, of course, the Acolyte. And, dude, I'm loving the Acolyte. Um, I liked it until last week's episode. The, the huge, you know, is everybody caught up? We're all caught up. Um, yeah. yeah, Jackson watching. Yeah. yeah, that big lightsaber duel, dude. Oh uh-huh. my god. You know, it's pretty, pretty sad, good. but pretty good though. Yeah, yeah. Jackie um, broke my heart, but little X twenty three girl, whatever her dude. name is. <laughs> she was sick though, man. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, it's good to hear. Is the uh, is the new episode pretty good this week? Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. Cool. I liked it. Cool, cool. What about you, Kyle? How you been? Man, uh, it's been good. Uh, at the start of the week, dude, I've, I was... I put a new hard drive in my computer about a year ago, a year and a half ago. And I freaking was trying... It's Whenever I put it in, it split it into two drives for some reason. Mm. It made a partition right down the middle, and it, this whole time it bugged me because I would get into certain situations where I would have 10 gigabytes left of, like, one hard drive and 20 gigabytes left of the other <laughs> hard drive, but I wouldn't have enough to, to put them both together and make a game. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So I was always just having a little bit left. It would drive me freaking nuts. So I decided, all right, dude, I'm going to try to figure this problem out and make them both link together. But there was one partition in the middle. It was an EFI partition, and I freaking was like, you know what? I'm gonna delete that shit, and I freaking deleted it. I looked, so I looked it up first, and it seemed like it was something I could erase. So I freaking saved it first, did a recovery first, and then I freaking did it, turned it back on, and there's no boot drive. <laughs> <laughs> there's no drive at all, dude. And like that feeling of like, oh fuck, man. <laughs> yeah. The just the pit in my stomach, knowing that I had a lot of work to do, and I, my Sunday was gonna be fucked. It was real shitty, dude. Yeah. It's and like knowing you got to work on a car. It is. It's like knowing you're over. And then I instantly was like, all right, I know I can figure this out. So I looked it up and it was like, okay, you can get into the freaking, um, into what's that black menu called? BIOS. Well, yeah, you can get into BIOS, but what's the, uh, where you can type in like, uh, oh, command line. Command line. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> so I did all that and it was like list disk, disk list or whatever. I did, I <laughs> yeah. did so much of that and like got down to like list volume. Uh, and I was starting to make partitions in the hard drive in that freaking, yep. in the, in that system. And I got in way over my head. <laughs> 
<laughs> and it started fucking it up even more. Oh, oh no, God, dude. Because <laughs> I couldn't help myself. I'm like, I can fix this. I know I can fix this <laughs> through this menu, dude. I'm smart enough that I can do this. I can type in c- commands, yeah. Yeah, because like, it makes sense what you do. It's, it's mm-hmm. just basic language. You just got to, you can't go too insane, but you got to list yada yada. And then, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know. Fuck seems me, dude. doable. Yeah. It is doable because I've done it on the Steam Deck. I've done a shit ton of it on the Steam Deck. You know what I'm saying? Have you mm-hmm. done any of that stuff? Uh, not yet, no. Okay, there's a lot of situations where it's like, damn, you yeah. really need a keyboard. They use Terminal, though, which is... Yeah, Terminal, yeah. yeah. But it's like, I really need a keyboard for this shit. But uh, I ended up fucking it up, fucking it up, fucking it up. And <laughs> I called my, one of my good buddies, Ryan. I completely forgot that you're, that you're good with computers now, too. Yeah. But I called my buddy, Ryan, and I'm like, dude, what do I do? And he's like... Bro, you deleted the system 32 pretty much, and like he's like you fucked up. Yeah, you deleted your master boot record, I think. Yeah, he's like he's like you fucked up, bro. <laughs> he's like, but he's like I left a flash drive at your house, uh, and that's the same flash drive that I've booted up everybody's computers that I've built computers on that just has mm-hmm. a recovery on it, but it's to Windows 10. So. <laughs> Whatever got in there and it's like a link to my account, so I didn't have to do any keys or anything like that. Yeah. And once I f- once I figured that out, I was like, okay, I've done this a hundred times. Here we go. And then yeah. had to do all the fucking shit, get it to Windows eleven. But gosh, dang, dude, frustrating, man. And it's the feeling of like, you know that scene on Spider Man, the first one where <laughs> he zooms in on his fingertips and you see his hair stand up. Mm-hmm. It's like that's the, also the feeling I had. It was like. Oh shit! I was like super hyper aware, like right in that moment, of, like when I when I noticed it was all erased, it was like, <laughs> and like also at that moment I could feel little drops of sweat go to the very tips of all those little finger those little yeah. finger hairs, and it's like, oh shit! And then I could feel my stomach also at the same time go to the, my fucking ball sack. It was like a get out moment, sink into the floor. Yeah, yes, dude, dude. It, was like, it was like, wait, yeah. wait, wait. <laughs> yeah, it was like you know, like when, when a camera just like zooms in on my when, on someone's body real fast. It was like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was all like that in one moment. <laughs> And if you know computers, like, that's it's just the worst feeling ever, knowing that you fucked your shit so hard, man. I did it, I did it as a kid several times. I fucked my dad's computer yeah. up uh-huh. so many times. But I got out of it, dude, and I'm, I'm on the other side now. I'm living a full hard drive life. Bless. I made sure that I didn't fuck the partitions up when I reinstalled it. Uh, yeah, made sure. <laughs> it is sure. confusing, too, because, like, when you first get in there, it's like you've, you, it already gives you, like, three partitions, and like sometimes you can't really delete or create or format or like it's it's weird, man. Yeah, You're like, like you don't really know what to do. One is system reserved, and then a couple of them are like yeah. unallocated two hundred megabytes. And it's like, what are we doing here, yeah, Microsoft? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're taking my stuff. I paid for this, dude. Yep. You're taking yep. it from me, Microsoft. But yeah, I did all that. Um, I also um, checked out Acolyte. It's great, guys. Um, yeah. Well, skin's looking better. It's healing up. <laughs> yeah. yeah what, what did you do? <laughs> <laughs> this is left. This is like I put. I had detergent left over on my blanket. Oof. Story short, and I have a bad reaction to that kind of stuff. Oh, yeah. And didn't notice yeah, it for no, like a week and a that's half. No good. Yeah, I originally thought it was poison ivy that Dude. was in the air. Speaking of poison ivy, so we went fishing in Stockton like last weekend, right? Okay. And uh, with my in laws and we're like parked way back in this like wooded area but there's a dock and we're like not catching anything off the dock so we're like let's go to the river so we go to the river and it's it's kind of difficult to find like places to fish because the water's flowing really fast and there's not really anywhere to stand and i look over and mandy is like off in the woods with eden and i was like what are you doing over there and she's like eden's gotta pee i'm like all right and eden's like freaking out because she's like there might be poison ivy over here and mandy's like there's no poison ivy over here and then i go over there afterward (laughs) and just poison ivy everywhere bro all poison ivy (laughs) and i'm like oh my god someone get a shower (laughs) yeah yeah (laughs) and i was like well you know if i see one bubble i'm she's going to the doctor and getting a shot i'm not dealing with it at all bro like you know the cortisone shots or whatever like oh fuck yeah yeah, dude i'm not because my parents would let me live with that shit for like two weeks straight and it was just torture I'm like, I'm not letting her go through that, man. Or I'm taking her to the pool and just let her sit in the chlorine for like two hours or something, you know? <laughs> but anyway. As a kid, was a skid, um, you have to get, you'd have to get in the pool. Yep. Uh, 
But yeah, and also as a parent, why didn't you get her in a fucking shower and get some dude, soap on that I kid? No, bro. What is your problem, yeah. dude? Someone get a wipey out on this kid. I know. My first wipey thought was down. like, how do I get her submerged in water with like soap? But there's, I mean, there was no soap. There's no why. Like it's one of those things you just run from parent to even random parents. You got some soap on you? you got <laughs> yeah. Some soap? Some soap. <laughs> yeah. You got some Johnson and Johnson baby soap. Yeah, something. Dude. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. As a kid, yeah. as a kid was scared. I'm not gonna say it again. I stopped myself. <laughs> Completely stopped myself. It's like, like gives me PTSD, man. Thinking about it, like just hearing the word, like gives me chills. Ugh. I remember one time in specific that the worst time I ever had it, man. We were freaking swimming in Max Big Rock. Me, you, Jacob, uh, Connor was there. I think that was just it. Maybe Aaron mm-hmm. was there too. But we climbed up the side of oh, the yeah. hill. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. We all and remember that. I yeah. got the worst I've ever had in my whole life. Oh, God. Dude, why did we not, like, figure out what it looked like so that we could stay away from it? Like, we just didn't care. We were like, hey, there might be it up here. I don't know. Who knows? Whatever. We're doing our thing. Like, dude. It's just green stuff. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's all green, baby. Yeah. Tr- tree stars everywhere, guys. Yeah. <laughs> now now I know, greens. like, I know exactly what this shit looks like, dude. So if I yeah. see it, I'm like, nope. Not going in there. Yeah. Especially out now that we've I've played so much disc golf in my life. Oh yeah, it seems like I get every time I'm out in the rough. It's like, hey, I'm getting some poison ivy on me. I got to get in the shower quickly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, my my PTSD is of a uh, seed ticks. <laughs> uh, man. Yeah, that was a rough month after that, man. Like both my feet were just covered in seed ticks. Like <sighs> even if you take a shower, they don't just like come off easily. You know, yeah. I was sitting there rubbing my feet, and then like would later on, like five minutes after the shower, I'm still finding them on me. Ew. One time, yeah. me and Connor and my dad were in the woods. We were setting up my dad's tree stand, I believe, and Connor walked through a patch of them, dude. Luckily, he had like coveralls on or whatever, but it was like hundreds of seed ticks all over. It was him. crazy, yeah. And they were like super small. They were like way smaller than any yeah. seed tick that yeah. I've ever seen. It was fucking it, nuts. They're like smaller than like grains of sand, you know? <laughs> they're, like, they're that tiny, you know? Mm-hmm. I just imagine you like look down and you just hear like really high-pitched violins as they're, they're crawling up your uh, leg. Like, to <laughs> me, they, like I imagine that's like what probably meth heads see when they are like, like seeing like Stuff like bugs on them, they're probably seeing that and going like, ah, oh god, no thanks. <laughs> what else do you think meth heads see, Jackson? Um, probably, I don't know, these nuts. <laughs> <laughs> probably Bigfoot. They're probably the only ones that can see him. That's the only ones that you ever see talking about them. They're like, I seen them. <laughs> now, what do you think Bigfoots think when they see us? Uh, little foots. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that what they call they call the main character from Play Before Time? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Two it's two now. references now. Yeah. Yeah. Tree stars, little foot. Yeah, <laughs> tree stars. Yeah, that, uh, that's it. Not even gonna say it, but that movie had a big impact on me as a kid. <laughs> what was that one? Is it uh, the little the little one, the little uh, little little dinosaur? Bee tree, ducky. Ducky, there we go. Shout out to Ducky. <laughs> Got me through some hard times as a kid. Yeah, you know? man, I always yeah. wanted to kick Petrie, bro. Kick Petrie. Yeah, yeah, he was so annoying. Yeah. Give us your merry fuck kill on that shit, David. <laughs> oh man. Oh god. <laughs> They're children, Kyle. <laughs> They're fucking animals, dog. They're fucking the fossils. Yeah. <laughs> They're fossils, right. dude. Fuck little foot because he got that long neck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. 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 <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Mary Ducky, cause cool as fuck. Okay. Yeah. Uh, kill Sarah. I hated her the most. See, Motherfucking kill Sarah, Sarah for sure. She was yeah. just a little fucking teacher's pet. Kind Annoying. Of thing. Annoying. Yeah. Same thing with Petrie. Can I f- kill them both? <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. Yeah. Uh, Connor, yeah. What, what would you say? <laughs> Same as David. <laughs> Same as David. Yeah. <laughs> They're children. <laughs> Dude, I remember one time we were playing Fuck, Mary Kill, and uh, I said, I think I said Harry, Ron, and Hermione or something like that. And <laughs> someone that was with us was like, that's really problematic. And I was like, yeah, but I'm thinking of them like as adults, though. Like, you know, 
<laughs> so the adult so versions that cursed they are child. now. Yeah. Cursed child version. Yeah, of cursed them. child 40 version. 40-year-olds. Yeah. 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 You're thinking of the end of the series version of them. Yeah. It's not fucked up and at it's all. It's okay because I grew up with them, okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh. You're you're only referencing it as a as a child. Yeah, yeah, we get you. Yeah, yeah. So what'd you say? Um, <laughs> 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 I, we didn't get any farther because the the person that was there wouldn't let us. Well, what would you have said? Th- these people will let you. Um, well, I mean, two of them are guys. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta do it. So I'll just bone Ron to get it over with. Real quick, you know. He's probably yeah. And then Red kill head. Harry and marry Hermione, so I can keep getting that. It's gonna be hard you know. to kill Harry, man. He's the chosen one. Yeah, he's got that. He's got that, that stone he can turn thrice in hand. <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> you have to kill all boy twice. <laughs> oh man! Uh, uh, you know Harry'd be hard to kill. He's got that fucking invisibility cloak. <laughs> Yeah, eventually he gets all three of them, doesn't he? Yeah, the, 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 movie? Yeah. the Deathly Hallows. Oh, he's invincible. Yeah, the Deathly Hallows. <laughs> you got that fucking wand that looks like an old person's finger. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I got one. Okay. All right. Uh, the Mummy, right? Okay. Wait. Em- Emotep. Emotep, okay. <laughs> Scorpion King in <and> Scorpion form. <laughs> <laughs> or uh, Jet Li's like, Dragon Emperor. Yeah, Jet Li's <laughs> Dragon Emperor. <laughs> <laughs> how how like fleshy are they? Or like not com- not whole are they? I'll, like, g- I'll I'll give you whole emo tip. <laughs> okay, I guess you, you get the man that is emo tip. <laughs> Can he really stretch his jaw down like that? Because <laughs> that I might mean, be interesting. If you want him to. <laughs> Yeah, I guess uh, Mary Jet Li's Emperor drag, Dragon Emperor dude um, f- fuck the Rock Scorpion King and kill <laughs> Emotep. <laughs> yeah. Fucking something the Scorpion form just gotta make you feel p- pretty awesome afterwards. You know? <laughs> Something's so funny about you saying fuck the Scorpion King. <laughs> Is he like bad CGI and all? Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Yeah, bad CGI. The worst yeah. CGI. Yeah, I'm killing that motherfucker. <laughs> God, put him down. I'll, I'll, I think I'll ma- also marry the. Well, no, I think I'm gonna marry Emotep because he goes to bat for you, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then I'll fuck Jet Li as the, as the as the terracotta because you know his you dick know? isn't gonna be bigger than yours. Couldn't yeah. be. Yeah. <laughs> If you had to put a gun to your head, I would be like, yeah, I think mine's bigger. (laughs) If you marry Emotep, can you not own cats, though? Once he gets complete, he overcomes that fear. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. We're good, then. (laughs) You gotta have cats in your life, right? Yeah. (laughs) You will have Magi. You'll you'll have the Magi. (laughs) (laughs) The Magina. (laughs) Ugh. You are on my job. <laughs> Jackson's got a mangina. Jackson's got a mangina. <laughs> I watched that yesterday. Right on. You got yeah. the, Connor, you, you got a, a Mary Fuck Kill? Uh, not off the top of my head, no. <laughs> not even Larry Magic Bird, Ma- Michael Jordan? <laughs> not even that. But I do have a... Uh, did you guys watch any of that X Games? No, I didn't. Uh, no. Some pretty I good watched, stuff. I watched down. the street. Yeah, what? I watched the, the street league that was like the just best trick one that that they put up like a week ago. Yeah, at the Apex. Yeah, those ones about are the one they put on YouTube. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, those okay. ones are okay. Yeah, I just want to say, man, I hate that. Like, even though Chris Jocelyn is constantly throwing down absolute bangers at these things, he won't ever win first unless the guys that are doing like tech in grind tech out tricks fall you know because like it doesn't matter how how good it looks like a a, like a nolly big heel is is only ever going to get you like a nine like a 9.1 yeah so i don't know i love watching that dude skate though i do yeah love watching chris joslin skate i'd say uh check out some of that women's skateboarding yeah, that was going down at the X Games. Some really cool Dude, stuff. They've been getting crazy lately, man. Uh, what is that? Yeah. That little 
that little white Australian girl's name, um, Chloe Cavill. She's, yeah. She's been crazy, dude. Some of those uh, Yumika Oda and some of those other Japanese girls. Are, dude. Oh, yeah. When we went to that Chicago SLS event, and she did that 50-50 with the kickflip off of, like, that was like... Chloe? Like, yeah. Yeah, When dude. she did that, I was like, wah! Yeah. That whole crowd was, like, pumped as fuck. I think she had the, the, the run that was, like, crazy at that one, didn't she? It was, like, a perfect run that got, like, an eight-something. Maybe it wasn't that event. She got know. the highest scoring run. Yeah. I remember that. It was because she ended it with that kickflip yeah. off the thing. I remember seeing that was run, like, oh. dude. Yeah. Yeah. And then that got me super stoked because I was like, dude, if she did that in her run, where she got, like, after that? But, yeah, she she really flubbed up in the best trick. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What do you guys think the best movie with skateboarding in it is? It's, it's probably not Grind. Yeah, I, probably not. I don't know. I love As Lord's of right Dog now, Town. Grind is first place for me. <laughs> but it depends on, like, how, like, are you talking about just, like, a movie that happens to have a scene with skateboarding in it? Like, like yeah. the new guy, <clears throat> like Tony Hawk, just randomly happens to be in it. <laughs> yeah, was it the Goofy movie where he skateboards home? Yeah, that's, yeah. or that was that that's was the second Goofy movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there is a the the skateboarding scene in that movie is when the car's going by itself down the step down the oh, highway. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Goofy's on the skateboard for a little bit. Yeah, that counts. Yeah, does count. Asian uh, Cody Banks, he does mm-hmm. a lot of lawn boarding. <laughs> I still uh, Lords of Dogtown, man. I mean, yeah, Lords of Dogtown so until good. the end. I yeah. I personally like once that, grind once, more. Once that dude starts wearing his shirt like a cholo, or like with the, oh, the, the top I know, button buttoned man. up, I'm like, where did this movie go? Yeah. Like, what happened here? Yeah, like this is this is what these guys did. Yep. I don't know. My favorite movie with skateboarding in it's probably freaking Freddy Got Fingered. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Those power slides he's doing through that mall are sick, <laughs> dude. Because you know if you're going through a mall, that's what you're going to be doing. Yeah. Or like a freaking airport. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be doing mm. some freaking power slides. Apparently there's a movie called Skate Dog. I think that's probably going to be the best one. Yeah. <laughs> D-A-W-G. What's the one? That, a dog. <laughs> remember that era of movies where they were just... It would always be like a kid and a chimp. There was a skateboard one of yeah. that. Yeah, it was like the the air or the era of Air Bud. Yeah, and stuff like that. Was it just called Skate Chimp? <laughs> <laughs> Surely not. I remember there was always a movie in the uh, previews for uh, the Power Rangers, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers movie. Dunstan checks in. <laughs> yeah, you guys ever see that movie? Dunstan checks in. <clears throat> I'm not sure if I remember that one. Dude, I, I want to know who Airbud's marketing team was, though, because I feel like every time I was in the movie theaters, like between 95 and 2005, there was an Airbud's trailer in every movie I went to. <laughs> it's freaking crazy, dude. Uh, he's playing football in this one. Yeah, he has a bunch of kids in this one. <laughs> yep. yeah. uh, Jackson, the movie you're thinking of, MVP2, Most Vertical Primate. Yeah, that's the <laughs> Most Vertical Primate. <laughs> and it looks sick, dude. <laughs> Oh man! I never watched it. I just remember seeing the cover of that in yeah. like the video store all the time. It always caught my eye. I was like, "Dude, that he shreds rock. too." Oh, it's a skateboard. It looked like he was playing guitar. Yeah, uh, I, I still put Grind up there at the, as the number one skateboarding movie for me. I need to watch it again because I feel like I remember that movie not being great. For the, some reason, the part that I gr- that I grind against and grind is <laughs> the annoying dude, the freaking yeah. guy with like the, with the hot sister. Yeah, yeah. He, I just can't watch that movie because of him. Yeah. He drives me nuts. What's also, weird is I really liked him when I was younger and I would is in high school. You know, to me he was like the depiction of what a cool adult is. <laughs> when I was younger. <laughs> he reminds me right. of like, the guy from. Um, from uh, Euro Trip, that's always like talking about the Fromers guide and shit. Like you're just like, he was super annoying. Yeah, because we've all known that kind of bigger chunky dude that wants to be really cool but kind of misses it. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's so crazy that Euro Trip, a pretty trash movie for the most part. Not gonna lie, it's somewhat a trash movie. You don't like yet, Defender Six, <laughs> but still had a hit song. That was playing oh, on the radio and even bro. made it to the Billboard oh Top God. 100. 
Scotty doesn't know. Oh, that, and Matt okay, Damon yeah. was fucking the dude that did it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so weird. I actually like that movie quite a bit. Yeah, it's one of those movies where it's like, if you... If you were a certain age when yeah. that movie came out, it's like Kun Pao or, or Harold and Kumar, like <laughs> yeah, Road Trip, the other yeah. trip maybe. Road Trip is a good. I think one. Road Trip's better, yeah. But yeah. Harold and Kumar was also one of those movies. That's I've actually like been wanting to go back and watch time. all the Harold and Kumar movies. Yeah, but they're solid. I like the first and second one. Is there more than that? There's the Christmas one. Yeah. Oh man. I think that's it. There's only three. I might be wrong, though. <laughs> the, the, for me, the best part of that movie is whenever... Uh, uh, what the fuck's that gay dude? Na- uh, Doogie <laughs> Hauser, what's his name? Neil, Neil Patrick, Patrick Harris. Harris. Yeah. Neil Patrick Harris. He shows up, they're just flying in that car, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The so, coke and the strippers. So great, yeah. dude. Man, Neil exactly. Patrick Harris is the best. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then in the third one, like, he is like... Holding hands with that one dude, like on the red carpet, and then as soon as they get behind closed doors, he's like, "Oh ma, oh dude, <laughs> how many times do I have to kiss you, dude?" <laughs> yeah, it's the PH is the best man. He's like, "Yeah, pretending to be gay gets you so much pussy." <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, classic. These yeah. great Starship Troopers too. Yeah, yeah, especially when he gets his brain sucked out. He doesn't get his brain sucked. Yeah. He doesn't, man. No. It's been no. so long. He's thinking of the it. other guy. The other no. guy is her, like her weird boyfriend. Yeah, yeah. He he uh, he reads the brain of the brain bug. And he's like, okay. it's afraid. Yeah, yeah. Man, nah. I always remember. <laughs> I always like. I'll never forget like the first time I watched that part as a kid. Like getting his brain sucked out. And he's just like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that part fucked with me as a kid. But I still remembered all the boobies. Of course. And then my mom caught me watching it the second time. Mm. And she's like, you can't watch this anymore. I remember where with that guy, the video star, saying this is good for kids to watch. <laughs> Did I already tell you about the time my mom took Fable away from us? Yeah. 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 I, re- I remember when it happened. Oh, my God. Were you there? Yeah. No. Going, but I remember, like, when it happened. Oh, yeah. Dude, that was hilarious. Did you, I don't know. I don't know if I said it on the podcast, but... Um, now we were playing and, and Jacob did that quest where, uh, remember that, that, the gram the old lady, her grandson goes missing. It's like a side quest and you got to yeah. go to the hob cave and rescue him from the, from the ferry or whatever. And you get back and she's like, Oh my God, thank you. And you either tell him to leave or you can tell him to stay or whatever. And then Jacob, like, cause he had such high charisma. He like romanced the grandma and then shot her head off with the bow and did the whole, like the blood squirt out and her head spinning around. <laughs> And my mom was on the couch, bro. Ugh. <laughs> Kids are so stupid, yeah. dude. And she's like, take the game out. <laughs> and hand it over. I was like, oh, God, Jacob, no. Yeah. <sighs> so I, she, she was okay with him romancing a grandma, but it's like, <laughs> okay, you, you shot her right off. We're done. Mm-hmm. If you would have stuck it with her, dude. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she obviously didn't watch any of the other things that we did in that game <laughs> up to that point. Uh, I'm assuming you guys watched the new gameplay stuff for the new Fable game. Yeah, the Xbox show or yeah. whatever. How we feeling? Well, I mean, what they showed I mean, yeah. was yeah. nothing, pretty much. I don't think we really got anything out of it. Yeah, it's yeah. like solid, you know. It, it seems interesting how they're leaning into like, um, like more traditional fables, mm-hmm. um, like stories and stuff. Yeah. So we'll see how that turns out. I'm, I'm just glad it seems like they're keeping that same like humor and the same sort of charm that they had in the originals so yeah i just uh don't want the whole um industrial revolution portion of albion or whatever i want to go back in time me too so we'll see we'll see what they do yeah i remember being super psyched like i think we all were when we saw the trailer for the second one and we saw like guns we're like whoa no they're like they're like moving in time that's so cool and then i like played the third one i was like all right they fucked the powers up in the third one. Yeah, the two gauntlet the things gauntlet is stupid. Thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Really stupid. Did you ever play Fable? Nah. What a loser. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't have a, an Xbox when I was younger. That's what it was on, right? It was on yeah. Xbox. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I had the PlayStation Two for the longest time, and then I 
like I finally got an Xbox 360, like maybe five or six years after the 360 had been out. <clears throat> yeah, I got the PS2 late. I think I, j- I only played it at your guys' place. Yeah, the good old Final Fantasy 10, man, and 12. Yeah, dudes, if the purge was real <laughs> and you didn't, what would you guys <clears throat> do for crimes that's not murder? I I would definitely be trying to steal from the wealthy. That's the number one thing I'd be doing. Yeah, I feel like I'd just like try to rob banks or something. You know, some 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 classic. <clears throat> well, yeah, think man, everybody's gonna be robbing the bank too. Yeah, you're gonna be fighting people over their bank robbery. Plus, they probably would have like the highest. Like, they probably have hired mercenaries to protect it and like big steel like shutters and stuff. Mm-hmm. I'd figure it out. <laughs> no, I don't know. I would launch a nuke. <laughs> it would be fun to think about all the things that like don't immediately come to mind. Like you could just like pee in the middle of the road, you know, <laughs> <Hell> yeah. <laughs> like all the small illegal things that you could do. Yeah, <laughs> I want to put gum in all of the freaking what are those things that take coins, like parking meters. Oh yeah, dude, just like gum in all the parking meters. Just take a baseball bat to all of them, you know. <laughs> <clears throat> That would be the prime time to just get all your 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 fury out. Yeah. Yeah. Bust a bunch of mailboxes. I think about all the things you could do in a theme park during the purge, you know? Just start taking bolts out. I got a friend that knows how to operate. <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> I'm here for bolts. <laughs> I was thinking about like finding somebody that knows how to operate like the Patriot at Worlds of Fun and being like, dude, meet me here during the purge. Like, let me ride it by myself. I just got like an image in my head of like Connor just like scrapping roller coaster metal. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, where we got it. <laughs> Try and stop me. Yeah. It ain't illegal, bitch. <laughs> Like, like, I'm going for railroad ties, dude. Oh my god! (laughs) You just threw at the bottom of some fucking water pits, dude, looking for railroad ties. (laughs) Hell yeah, dude! I got one that I would do. I would uh, cover ice, ice baby by (laughs) spray copyright laws. Break both copy, break his and Queen's, and just tell him, "Fuck you! I get the rights to this song now." But that, that's like a, an honest question though like if I just like took a copy of the entire Harry Potter series and then I and then I like public like self published it under my name <laughs> on the day of the purge could I then sell them after the purge because I broke the copyright laws during the purge <laughs> if you, you know? knew the right people and you can get it done in 24 hours <laughs> because dude JK Rowling uh, like whether she's right or wrong kind of screwed herself so everybody be like I still want to buy the Harry Potter books I'll just buy them from David Lindsay <laughs> <laughs> yeah. we've checked out his values he checks out <laughs> yeah <laughs> all his shit's out in there already mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah yeah that's what I would I would figure out a way to be like yo I'm selling super high end fake merchandise for like X amount of dollars or whatever, but yeah, it's basically the exact same thing. But Nike can't sue me today to do it, so yeah, yeah, just something like that. Solid. It's a lot to do in a twenty-four hour period, Jack. <laughs> I don't know. I'll I'll do whatever I want on that day. <laughs> to be true. honest, I'll probably be the first, one of the first ones dead. I'd, if I if I went outside to like try to do something, I'd be like, "All right, it's the purge." And then <laughs> freaking immediately just like Kill truck, truck drives by and then there's a guy with a cleaver in the back. Yep. Just, Kill Slender Man. <laughs> <laughs> That's the craziest thing, man. Go for like, the thin one. Do you think do you think it'd actually be as bad as it is in the purge movies if we actually had a purge? Like people running around in like neon masks and like but like murder parties and stuff? Yeah, I think there would be some groups doing that, yeah. yeah. Definitely in yeah. the cities for sure. I think Dude, the city. I think a lot of like the areas like around here and like I don't know other places would probably be like the movie Civil War just yeah. like eh we just ignore it yeah 
But it'd be so hard because if you did see someone you knew during the purge doing something fucked up to your, like your house or your loved ones, but then you had to see them for the rest of the year, mm -hmm. that would be really hard to get past. Like knowing, dude, that one day you were super fucked up to me, man. Yeah. The rest of the year are going to be cool to you. Like, that gives you a whole year to plan what you want to do to him. That's mm. true. That's, well, that's, that's what that one dude did, though, in the first movie. Or was it the second one? I don't know. Anyway. I, the kid, the kid I've tried watching the first two, and I never finished either one. I love those movies. I think they're great. <laughs> yeah. I would yeah. go to the Lakers and sign myself a contract to be their starting point guard. <laughs> Too late to go back on it. Yeah. Contract signed. Yeah. <laughs> no takesy backsies. Yeah, they just bench you and pay you like $30 million. Oh, fuck yeah. Because I'll get front row seats to yeah. every game. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jack Nicholson sits right next to you and he is like, man, that was the best movie you ever made on that day. What did? Why did I think of that? I don't know. Trying to, I was trying to give you a compliment. Blah, blah, blah. So uh, <laughs> I would, I'd go out and I'd steal a motorcycle, like a dirt bike type motorcycle, and then I get one of those Zorbs that you see on people on the ocean. I get in one of those, and I'd ride at Congress as fast as I could in the Zorb with the motorcycle at Congress. I'd ride di directly at Congress. What is a Zorb? It's like a giant air ball that you can jump inside of and like get on the beach and like go in the water and like run on it. It's like there's a, a movie with ball. Jackie Chan and he's in one at one point. I want to yeah. say, but huh. yeah, look it up. It's, it's interesting. It yeah. Isn't there Zorbs in Johnny Tsunami Two? Back on board? I don't know. I don't know. I can tell you. They're in the Nitro Circus movie. They're in one of the. Uh, I was gonna say Jackass, but oh yeah, uh, it's in Wild Boys too. <laughs> so yeah, I, I put a dirt bike in one of those and I'd ride it around at Congress, kind of like a bowling ball, like a giant <laughs> bowling ball type thing, you know? So are you inside of it with the dirt bike? It's like Super Monkey Ball, where it's like, yeah, I'm inside of it, I'm inside the ball, and I'm riding the motorcycle, and it's giving me power. Um, like rollerball. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's like I'm I'm riding up the the different hills, I'm riding through the, uh, the offices, um, yeah, just hitting them. Motorcycle style. Somehow it all works. It doesn't, like, there's no weird gravity thing going or on. Or, like, the people in Congress? Or there's, like, people in there, like, meeting? Yeah, they're just staying in, like, T-pose the whole time. I'm just yeah. like... Just I bet, dude, those things will mess you up if you get hit by them, man. Right. You just did, you see, did you see that one where they hit the guy with the car and he, like, went up into the tree? Uh-uh. He went, see, he, like, flew up so high he, like, landed in the top of a tree. That's yeah, hilarious, that so dude. crazy. <laughs> wow. The whole time I'd be in a Zorb, I'd be just praying to God nobody had a bayonet. You know? Yeah. <laughs> You're fine. <laughs> or spike strips. Well, then I'm on a motorcycle. <laughs> like, Zorb's yeah. worst enemy. <laughs> You're, in that. You're in a deflated Connor's Zorb motorcycle. on a motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> Going really fast. Going really fast. See, Connor, Connor has his motorcycle. It's like you're driving around. Zorb is like the Batmobile. <laughs> <laughs> the motorcycle comes out of the Batmobile. The Zorb is his Batmobile. It's just, it's just like you're driving around in like a wet piece of chewed up gum. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. That would look so fucking weird. <laughs> but yeah, I'd, I'd probably go that route with it. I don't know if that's actually illegal or not. I'm sure like <laughs> trespassing would be the thing. And I guess assault, but. It would be hella fun though. Yeah. And then if, if uh, I got through Congress, I'd probably just, you know, take it to the beach, you know? Hijack a SpaceX rocket, go to Mars instead. Or as far as you can. Sure, yeah. Or, like, yeah. die 10 feet in the air because you don't know how to fly a rocket. <laughs> yeah. You know that mission command? My yo dude's about a rocket. You guys probably know about it. Rocket power? Nope. Mm-hmm. Yeah, go ahead. Hmm? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> they might have another one? Another purge thing? Another one. Uh, hmm. No, I can't think of one else off the top of my head. You got no more purge things? I'd probably steal a giraffe, maybe. <laughs> steal an exotic animal from the zoo. You think a giraffe is, is strong enough to carry you so you can ride it? You think you'd be able yeah. to stand up on its back and, like, control it? <laughs> yeah, I could. 
Yeah. You could ride him like a horse. I would, so, I would, I would, yeah. I'm reminded of that, like, uh, the Asian guy from Godzilla. Remember the, when he's like, we think we can control nature. You know? Yeah. <laughs> you can't. Uh-huh. Spoiler alert. Hey. I dress up like Captain Boomerang and try to pretend like I could have boomerang powers, you know? And just like <laughs> throwing boomerangs at people. <laughs> That's what I do on Purge Day. <laughs> <laughs> I just cosplay. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> It's not really illegal to cosplay, bitch. Like, don't come near me. I'm wearing a costume. That's fucking boomerang. <laughs> yeah. I would definitely do something that like <clears throat> zoo related, probably. Go to the zoo, be like, all right, I'm letting all the animals out. That's a solid plan. Streaking would be legal. You could just run onto the field of any cool sporting event. Yeah. You think there's going to be a sporting event going on during the purge? There might be. That'd be a crazy sporting event, man. That'd be a wild as fuck sporting event. Yeah, Everybody's out there dude. just wanting to play basketball with the basketball players and shit. <laughs> <laughs> catching catching fo- uh, catching passes from Tom Brady. Yeah, that'd be wild. Fuck Tom Brady, too. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'd do? I would take out Tom Brady. I would eliminate <laughs> Tom Brady. You know, you said no killing, so I wouldn't kill him, but he wouldn't have legs or arms. I'll say that. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> you would do that thing that happens to Elijah Wood in Sin City. It's like, cut, cut off the arms and legs, put tourniquets on, and give him some shades. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's been so long since I've seen that movie. Yeah. I watched The Patriot today, and that's what Mel Gibson did to all the French people <clears throat> in The Patriot. Damn. Yeah. Arms and legs. Drawn and quartered. Yeah, The Patriot's a good freaking movie, dude. Yeah. 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 Man, I was talking to Kyle about this earlier, but I was watching this video that was talking about how toilet paper was not invented until, like, the late 1800s and wasn't, like, widely. So, basically, what you had was, like, corn cobs to use to wipe, like, leaves, <laughs> and corn seashells, <laughs> sea you, sponge. Did you wipe like this with a corn cob? <laughs> <laughs> you sure? Sit on it. <laughs> No matter how you use it, you're gonna get spatter. So it's like this is just <laughs> splatting all up your back and shit. And if you're going for, if you're going front to back, or like, <laughs> yeah, man. But that like got me thinking. I was like, so every period piece movie I've ever watched, generally, <laughs> everybody has like a cake shit ass. Uh, <laughs> like, so I just like started thinking. I was like, man, Lord of the Rings, Aragorn has a shit like shit caked ass. Gimli oh, probably Jackson. has the most shit Stop it, Jackson. Why are you looking at their asses, Jack? Did he, I, I just started he, thinking about it. I was like, man, I was like, I have like a new way of looking at all these movies now. Aragorn. It's like everyone's got... It's like, Aragorn married an elf. She probably wiped his butt with her elf magic. There was a whole... You know? There was a whole... There was a launch time where they were like running for them orcs. <laughs> Dude, they probably just shit their pants. Yeah, yeah. He calls himself Gandalf the White, but there's one spot where I know he's not white. <laughs> sh- <laughs> Shit, Gandalf the Brown. He yeah. probably wore a diaper though. He had one of those like lo- <laughs> like super durable loincloths. <laughs> the one gold like circular band right yeah. here. <laughs> that's holding it together. That's all he had on yeah. underneath. <laughs> Dude, you th- uh, she uh, his girl, his girls got one of those fucking, you know, those ones they do that they do that threading to people's eyebrows. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. She's doing that to get the shit off his butt. <laughs> <She's just like laughs> threading yeah. it or whatever. Gosh, dude, I, you know, I was thinking about this. Like, do you think everybody's buttholes back in the day was just like a piece of fucking hard leather? <laughs> because. You can't th- imagine everybody's walking around with these chafed ass assholes, but you got to think of their whole life they don't have toilet paper. Oh, you got to think: is soap there? Is soap around? When was soap made? Yeah, you yeah. think everybody's just washing well, their like, hands, grabbing it off with their finger, their fingers, and shells, and just throwing it in corn cobs. <laughs> well, there's there was tons of people that couldn't even afford soap, you know. Yeah, so everybody walking around with stinky bums. So first thing Dude, I pulled sure. up is that as early as 2800 BC, found uh, archaeological uh, archaeologists, 
archaeological <laughs> archaeologist uh, uh archaeologist Ar- archaeologist Arche- yeah yeah the people Archeo. <laughs> i call you uh, uh but yeah as early as early as 2800 bc uh they found soap like material so even though you wouldn't be wiping your butt like normal you could still wash your butt with soap so. dude so but like before then you exactly. So the last everybody... almost five thousand years, it's been you've got soap. But they what about before that? Everybody lived near the creek, so they could waddle down to the creek and wash their booty off, like spit on it. And... <laughs> uh, Alabama wet wipe, they call it. <laughs> that that term came from somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Alabama. Yeah. It's disgusting. Because <laughs> I mean. Yeah. That's how you really quickly figure out what leaves are bad for you and what leaves are good for you. You be on the lookout oh, yeah, for dude. what leaves are good for yeah. you. You know, you'd only take you one time using poison ivy to never use poison ivy again. Eh, maybe twice. Yeah, because you might not may, have realized maybe, what leaf was. Yeah, you didn't remember, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, you, and then you have to bring a little notepad around with you and like draw the leaves, just like see, like okay, with that I used that one yesterday, and then I got a rash. Right. And, yeah. And how would you know if you didn't have a notepad? <laughs> and they're like all glossy, right? Isn't that the thing? It's like poison ivy? Yeah, isn't it glossy? Sometimes, yeah. Those oils, man. Yeah. yeah. Got those oils. You ever hear that leaf that's like I think it's in like Bangladesh or something or like India, Pakistan in that area that like you touch it and it has these like little microscopic needles, like millions of them. Yeah, kind of like jellyfish. And they'll get in your skin and it is like one of the worst pains on earth. Like it's insane. I know. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, and it lasts forever. And there, there's was. like no way to get them out. That just your body just has to get them out by itself over time. Wow, you can't even get them out with tweezers. No, nah. you can't even see them, dude. Like they had a. Uh, I watch. Um, I think it's Brave Wilderness is the channel. Coyote Peterson, have you guys seen those? Uh-uh. He does yep. the sting tests with the wasps and the. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, he did. He did the leaf one time, and it, it was awful. And I think he was able to use like <coughs> glue. He put glue all over his skin and then peeled it, peeled it off or something like that. But it didn't get them all. Like that just sounds like a nightmare, dude. You accidentally rub it, rub that against your leg. And because a lot of times that needle will travel all the way through wherever it's going. Yeah, uh, it'll go all the way in. There was a I forget. I think it was on Wild Boys I was watching it, but this dude was talking about that uh, he got stunned by a porcupine needle. Uh, he got stunned, like, right, like, kind of, like, in the leg area. The needle, he had, like, or part of a needle traveled all the way up through his body, and he, like, pulled it out of his shoulder. What? Or, like, his collarbone area. <laughs> no way. Uh, like, <laughs> That's rough, dude. It's hard for me to even think about, man. I want to throw up. <laughs> Just do it. <laughs> Dude, you don't even throw up on my carpet. Because the, the only thing I'm going to throw up on is you. Yeah, you got a knack for that. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, do you guys want to go ahead and move into Yo Dude? Check this out. Yeah. All right. Yo Dude. Oh. Oh. Hey, yo, what's up? Oh. Check this out. Yo Dude. Uh, yo, dude, check this out. Um, China accidentally launched a rocket a couple of days ago. I don't know if you guys saw that, but they accidentally launch it. It goes several thousand feet in the air and just, like, starts going sideways and just falls back down to Earth and just explodes, dude. It's freaking gnarly. I'm going to have to look up a video yeah. of that. Yeah. You should be able to find it. Wait, like easy. it was an accidental launch? Yeah. Just type in, like, China accidentally launches rocket, and you'll be able to find one. Dude. Several videos pretty easy. That person's getting fired. They're probably already dead. It looked like. Oh, that's true. Yeah, it is China. Um, Like, when it landed, it looked like a nuke went off, man. It was crazy. Did it land in, like, a populated area? I'm not sure about that. I just watched a video on it. Um, But, like, you could tell that things didn't go right. <laughs> Because, yeah, they weren't supposed to launch it, so, no, like, none of the systems were working, I, I'd assume, that you'd want to launch a rocket. It was just, like, they just... Psh, God dang, dude. Crazy. It's insane. It's a lot of money. Yo, dude, check this out. Uh, serotonin, 
which is uh, that chemical that releases and produces happiness in your brain, um, is also it, like has a dual nature to it because it can also be toxic. Um, when it's injected into the skin, it causes severe pain and is also like a key component in wasp, hornet, and scorpion venom. Whoa. So if you could inject it into your brain, it'd be good. Maybe. <laughs> maybe, maybe we just need to get stunned on the brain. I got a wasp nest in my shed. <laughs> become, become Lucy. Like, <laughs> he's unlocked 100% of his brain. <laughs> <laughs> he can move through dimensions. Uh. <laughs> he sees uh. the world in quarter measures and half measures. <laughs> Yo, dude, check this out. My glorious wife, Rachel Hobbs, finally got her first uh, client today. She's been a financial advisor for a little while now, and she got her first client today. Woo! Hell yeah, nice. dude. So props Good job, to Rachel. Rachel. Yes. Financial Congrats. advisor. She's yeah. A, she's amazing. It's really early in the game. So it's not like she's been doing it for fifth, like 10 years and finally got it. So right. I, You should yeah. be proud. Super proud. <laughs> proud. <laughs> proud. Husband and proud. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> proud husband of a financial advisor. <laughs> um, so this week, for my yo dude, I just saved all of my Elden Ring talk for the end. So if you're not interested or you haven't played the DLC, He's I'm not going to give too much away anyway. But Erd Freak David. Yeah, you can, you can check out. But, so, um, I think I'm like probably 20 hours in the DLC. And, dude, it's, it's fat. It is chunky. Um, but it's so good, man. It is the best part of Elden Ring at this point, hands down, dude. It's mm. so good. Wow. Um, yeah, they added like, oh, geez. I don't know. You know how you get the map fragments that unlock new locations? I think there's like six in the DLC. So the map's huge. There's like a lot of different super cool locations. And it's just like the normal map where there's like, you'll just randomly wandering around and you'll fall down this gigantic hole into this whole new area. Um, it kind of feels like Tears of the Kingdom a little bit. How like you know you'd find those chasms that okay, would go into yeah. the under, but not like it's not like a huge underworld like uh, like Tears of the Kingdom. But um, initially, I was playing through, and I think I beat four of like the actual big bosses. They're not shard bearers, but you'll know they're like story kind of bosses if you get a remembrance from them. Um, I beat like four or five of them. And then I decided I wanted to, like, watch a fighting cowboy walk through so that I could go back and, like, fight bosses I missed and maybe pick up weapons I might have missed out on. Um, but they had a whole bunch of new weapon types. There's, like, 100 new weapons. There's, I think, like, 30 sets of armor, tons of new spells. Like, um, and the bosses are really hard. Like, I don't know if you guys have seen anything online about it, but... Uh, I've heard that they're hard. They're incredibly hard. But it's, like... I don't know. It kind of like once it clicks, it clicks. Yeah, I, I think I fought the first boss like twenty times, and the second boss probably thirty or forty times. And there's one I just beat yesterday that I literally fought. Just respawn, run to the fog wall, respawn, run to the fog wall, like for two hours. It was crazy, man. Damn. But you can you can still find broke ass builds. I'm just like I found one weapon that. Um, it's called the Beast Claws, and it's it's literally like bear paws on your hands, dude. And you just you get on all fours and just go crazy. <laughs> and it does bleed damage and stuff. Uh, and then one weapon I found is just a, a giant colossal sword. And so I'm running strength, so I leveled that the claws up and put a heavy on them. And then I've got a colossal, so I got like two different weapons I can swap between for just different situations. But I was running like a. Because I, I just started a new guy and played like 20 hours up to the point where you can, can get into the DLC. So I'd be ready when I got it. <clears throat> and I was doing like dragon communion spells, like breath attacks and stuff with the uh, magma worm scale sword, which is like that, that great sword you get from a car. Um, and, and then I got into the DLC, dude. And I, I had like six larval tiers at the time when I went in. I've spent all of them <laughs> because I get a new weapon and I'm like, dude, what is this? I want to use this. And then I'll level it all the way up and then use a larval tier and respect and then go back in and find a new weapon that I like. And I'm like, shit. Damn. But there's like a ton of, uh, 
a ton of smithing stones and somber smithing stones everywhere. There's like I think probably ten or fifteen larval tiers you can find in the DLC, so you can just keep respecking and leveling weapons up. Uh, and I think I found like five or six great dragon sombers and regular smithing stones. So yeah. Damn. Does it's, it feel like Elden Ring two? It kind of does, man. Honestly, <clears throat> like the the vibe is much darker. They they did this thing that's kind of cool where. Like, if you're, like, level 50 and you go in, or you're level 200 and you go in, it all is the same when you go in. And you find these little things called scat... They're, they're called skadu tree fragments, but... Skadu. Skadu is, I guess, Latin for shadow, so they're, like, shadow tree fragments, whatever. And you find them all over the place, and then you find revered spirit ashes, and you use those at Sites of Grace to buff your resistance to damage and your damage output and your summons damage hmm. so like the more you find the stronger you can buff yourself so it's kind of like you're leveling inside the shadow realm separate from outside is so it was like a way to for them to like you couldn't just go in at level 300 and nuke the whole thing um but yeah dude it is it's so good man like it, it would be it probably i probably would give it a 10 out of 10 to be honest Same. like yeah Get excited. <laughs> yeah, I'm liking uh, Strength Over Magic. Magic is just a really hard way to play, you mm -hmm. know, um, if, especially if a lot of your attacks don't hit and then you run out of magic really fast. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, Strength strength's pretty cool. Yeah, Strength is, is great in the DLC, especially, like, being able to stagger bosses is, like, dude, you're going to want to stagger bosses. Like, mm -hmm. it is, it's so helpful. Um, bleed is not very useful, actually, in the DLC. Like... Yeah, it used to. Whenever I first played through Elden Ring, I did a bleed build, and I would take off like a quarter of their health every time bleed proct. And if you do in Shadow of the Earth Tree, it's like do like a quarter inch or a half inch of their health. It's crazy, dude. Mm. But yeah, it's really good. Uh, I'm just like I said, going around and and catching up on stuff I miss. Uh, it'll probably be like another week or two before I finish it. Mm -hmm. I would say, but totally worth it. Yeah, every time we've been on playing, at one point you've gotten on. Yeah, dude. Every single time. Yep. Yeah. I'm, I'm playing, uh, well, I play on my PC usually at home because I get better frames, but I've been playing mostly on my Steam Deck. Um, Runs good on Steam Deck? It it bounces between 40 and 60 frames, and I am I think I'm on medium settings at 1080, or well, I guess it's Eight something, right? Because this the re resolution is kind of weird, but and you feel like the joysticks have enough throw yeah. to be able to play that game. Yeah. See, I can't play like stuff where I have to really, really use the camera, like games like maybe a Siege or something like that, like a game with really good shooting or something. I, I feel like I can't really do that kind of yeah. thing with Steam Deck, and <clears> I don't <throat> know if I could do that with or with Elden Ring because of the of so much rolling. But yeah. I did play Horizon for Horizon Zero Dawn on a Steam Deck. So. Was it good? I mean, was it? Did it perform good? Uh, no. Yeah, <laughs> but it, it does perform good whenever I was using Chiaki for my PS5. Have you done that yet? Where you uh -uh. can stream your PS5 to your Steam Deck? Oh no, but I've heard about it. Yeah. Do you have a PS5? Yeah. I would do the Chiaki thing. It's pretty damn cool. Okay. Chiaki for PS5. Look it up in your store thing or whatever. Yeah. But uh, I mean. Yeah, I guess the Steam Deck would be okay for that. It's just surprising yeah. that you're still that you're playing that. It like if I play in offline mode, um, it's it's so good because like you can't pause Elden Ring. So if I'm playing on the couch, and like Mandy is like, "Hey, will you grab this for Owen?" or "Hey, will you come help me in the kitchen?" I just lock it and put it down. And it and it lets you go into the yeah. standby. That's yeah. crazy, dude. Um, the thing that drives me crazy about the Steam Deck, though, kind of off topic, but like, is that if you lock it mid game. It still adds up your hours in Steam. Yeah. So I'll come back, like, and, it, like, I think Elden Ring right now says I have, like, 397 hours on Steam, but I've only played, like, 50 or 60 on this character. Damn. So it's just because I'll keep it locked for, like, a couple days and come back to it. And What'd you end up going with on your PC? Oh, I, I haven't built it yet. I'm still using <laughs> no. my laptop. But, uh, dude, it's a, it's a 1650. It's not even a super or anything, and it still runs Elden Ring at, at sixty or more on medium settings. It's crazy, dude. It doesn't take it doesn't take much to run, but I was disappointed by the Steam Deck that like it doesn't really play modern games like PS five, Xbox right. Series X, unless they design them to be tuned down super low. So 
I beat mm-hmm. most of Cyberpunk Phantom Liberty on the Steam Deck. Did you really? That's yeah. crazy. I beat almost all of it on the Steam Deck. It runs. It runs really good on there, but just because of all the, uh, like the FSR and stuff like that. Oh yeah. FSR two point one and all that crap. I love that thing, man. I think it's it's one of my favorite consoles ever, dude. Yeah, and right now they're super freaking cheap, dude. Yeah. Like right now they're having a big sale on them. Did you get the O L E D? No. So Isaac, actually, my oldest brother Isaac bought uh, bought one like the first few months it came out. And he's had it ever since. He took really good care of it, and then he bought, went and bought like a ROG Ally or something, and was gonna sell it. And so he's like, oh, "You can have first dibs if you want." So I paid him two hundred bucks for it. Man, he didn't give it to you, man. No, damn. I mean, they are expensive though. They are. So but right now they're only like two hundred ninety. Dang, dude. Yeah, dude. Really yeah, cheap. worth it for sure. Super worth. Yeah. Especially if you like just to sit on your couch. Keep it plugged in. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I get I get like an hour and fifteen minutes on a full battery playing Elden Ring. Yeah, games that are super graphically intensive. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Shadow of the Earth Tree. Check it. <laughs> you ever play Undermine? No. No? No. It'd be a good Steam Deck game. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. I don't know what I'm gonna play next on it after Mass Effect and Elden Ring. I was thinking about playing that uh Prince of Persia game, the platformer. It's really good. Yeah. It's really good. Yeah, I got to the very end of it, and then uh, the emulator I was using became <laughs> illegal <laughs> and lost all my save Was progress. it that Switch one? Yes, Yuzu. It was Yuzu, yeah. Yeah. Poor all of, Yuzu. All my progress went down the toilet, so I was like, okay, that's a sign. I need to, when, next time I play it, which I'm going to play it again, I'm going to buy it on Steam. Yeah. It's really good though. If you like Prince of Persia, it's really freaking good. The Lost Crown. Yeah, the Lost Crown, especially towards the end when you get all the powers, it's really freaking awesome. But yeah, it takes dude. for fucking ever to get all the powers, dude. It's so long. Great game though. I I actually do think I I may pick up Witcher three pretty soon too because hell yeah. Um, I I was playing Mass Effect two and I was talking to my friend about how how I loved all this stuff about it and he's like that just sounds like the Witcher three to me, dude. And he's like, it's it's so good. And I'm like, dude, g- give me more of this, man. This relationship building and like all these super interesting side quest stories and stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. Witcher Hands three down. is that. Witcher sure. three, yeah, bro. Yeah. Witcher three is on my pantheon of like my top yeah. probably five games of all time. Hell Witcher yeah. three is so good. And they did a, a next gen update for it like maybe a year or two ago, so it's good. The combat's better, and yeah, the uh, the two DLCs that come with it, mm-hmm. amazing. Yeah, yeah. man, I, I got to play those. And it runs really good on the Steam Deck. <laughs> <laughs> it runs so good on the Steam this Deck. This podcast is endorsed. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, it's been oh, endorsing yeah. it for about the last year. And and Mass half. Effect Two, Witcher Three. If you've never played those two games, man, yeah, amazing. And Marvel Midnight Suns. If you've never played <laughs> Marvel that, Midnight Suns runs real good on the Steam. A deck. great Steam Deck game, yeah. dude. Yeah. Wasn't real. that on PS5 Plus or was it on PlayStation Plus recently? It was uh, the or that. it was the Epic free game. Like epic- two or three oh, weeks that's ago. what it was. Yeah, I, I got that, dude. I'm excited. Yeah, you've got that. I got it on the Epic thing. Nice. Yeah, yeah dude. Nice. I would install the Heroic Launcher and freaking play that on your Steam Deck. It runs so good. It's fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a especially because you like tactics games. Yeah, you're gonna love it. Sweet. The card system is so good. Yeah. All right, cool, you guys cool. want to wrap this thing up? Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, episode 143 with David Lindsay, the Erd freak himself. <laughs> He's freaking himself with the Erd tree. <laughs> freak, freaking. Jackson, what are you freaking? The, the mic, baby. Freak, freaking <laughs> the mic. Connor, are you freaking anything? I'm sneaking and I'm freaking and I'm freaking and I'm sneaking. <laughs> freak, freak this. Episode 143, Crash on the Friends. See you next week. Peace. You chunky buttholes. <laughs> <laughs> Take Edit shit that. on your asshole. Yeah. Braveheart. Take shit. <laughs> Crashing with friends. Oh.